Good afternoon. Dylan Gear reporting for Wolfpack News for October 3rd, 2014. Topping the news, ISIS is continuing to pose a threat to the U.S. ISIS is beginning to expand their ter territory and become the most powerful terrorist group in the history. In other news, nationally, according to CNN.com, Jesse Matthew, a suspect in the disappearance of the University of Virginia student Hannah Graham, was questioned in connection with an alleged sexual assault nearly 12 years ago. Authorities said Thursday, reportedly, Matthew claims that the student gave her consent. According to CNN.com, authorities found Matthew on a Galveston County beach some 1,300 miles from where he was wanted in disappearance. All tracks lead back to Matthew, whether he denies the allegations or not. Also, nationally, in Ferguson, Missouri, riots have started again. According to CNN.com, five people were arrested as tension flared again in Ms. Ferguson, Missouri, with some people threatening officers, shooting at them, throwing rocks and bottles, and one person tossing a Molotov cocktail at a parking structure. After everything started to calm down, tensions rose again. A store and even a museum were set on fire. In America, this is a rising issue. For news closer to home, PDA is becoming an extreme epidemic at Oswego East. Many people have been a disturbance in the classroom regarding this issue. Violating the rules at Oswego East has consequences for you. What I think and how I would deal with it is very nicely try to just explain to them that, you know, even during passing period, there's a lot of teachers coming through. You don't want to see them, you know, they don't want to see you doing that. And it's like I said, there's a time for everything and there's an appropriate place and it shouldn't be in school. I think it's not necessary because it's a distraction to students and staff especially. PDA can only be a negative outcome in school. It is against the rules, taking away from your rules at OE, and it takes away from your learning abilities at school, causing many distractions at Oswego East. Now on to sports-related news. Jameis Winston has been a rising celebrity for the past season. The main question is, is the fame getting to his head? Recently, Winston stood up on a table and yelled obscene comments. This statement led to a game-long suspension for Jameis. According to ESPN.com, the suspension was initially for the first half, but was, it was extended to the entire game Friday night after he missed the administration. Whether Jameis is setting records or not, his maturity is an issue, and many NFL scouts are starting to realize that. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Dylan Gear. Join us again tomorrow and have a wonderful day. Wonderful.